Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my reading journey. Hope you're all doing great and let me remind you, I read, let me feel your pools. And today is the fourth part, so let's just do this. Suddenly, some belated, belated, little girl, bird, alighted, alighted upon the windowsill. And in what he no doubt considered sleepy tones, enunciated, enunciated the noise generally translated as cheap. I leaped into the air. Hey, what's the matter down there? Called John from the from his room about mine. Oh, nothing, I answered, except that I accidentally bumped my head against the ceiling. The next morning, I went out on the porch and looked at the mountains. There were 47 of them inside. I shuddered. Shuddered. Went into the big hall sitting room of the house, selected Pancora's family practice of medicine from a bookcase and began to read. John came in, took this, the book away from me and led me, and led me outside. He has a farm of 300 acres furnished with the usual complement of barns, mules, peasant, peasantry and harrows. Harrows with three front teeth, teeth broken off. I had seen such, such things in my childhood and my heart began to sing. Then John spoke of alf, alf, alfa, alfalfa, and I brightened at once. Oh yes, yeah, said I, wasn't she in the chorus of, let's see, Green, you know, said John, and tender. And you plough, plough it under after the first season. I know, said I. And the grass grows over her. Right, said John. You know something about farming, after all. I know something of some farmers, said I. And as sure. Scythe will move them down someday. Scythe, scythe, scythe will mow, mow, m o w on the way back to the house. A beautiful and Inexplicable, and it's inexplicable, in inexplicable. Creature walked walked across our path. I stopped, irresistibly fascinated, gazing at it. John wanted, waited patiently, smoking his cigarette. He is a modern farmer. After 10 minutes, he said, Are you going to stand there looking at the chicken all day? Breakfast is nearly ready. A chicken, said I. A white Orping, Orpington hen, if you want to particularize. A white Orpington, Orping, or. Orpington hand, I repeated with intense interest. The fool walked slowly away with graceful digni dignity, and I followed like a child after the pied piper. piper. Five minutes more were allowed me by John, and, and then he took me by the sleeve and conducted me to the breakfast. Conducted. 
such a familiar word anyway after i had been there a week i began to grow alarm i was sleeping and eating well and actually beginning to enjoy life for a man in my dis desperate condition that would never do so i snaked down to the trolley station took the car for pine Panwilly, and went to see one of the best physician in town. By this time, I knew exactly what to do when I needed medical treatment. I hung my head on the back of a chair and said rapidly, Doctor, I have cirrhosis their horses their horses of the heart indurated artery arterias neurothenia nephritis acute in the jet in Indigestion, indigestion, and convalent, convalent science, convalescence. I'm going to mark all of them. I'm not going to repeat these words, guys. You probably forgive me. I'm going to live on a strict diet. I shall also take a tepid bath, tepid bath at night and a cold one in the morning. I shall endeavor to be cheerful and fix my mind on pleasant subjects. In the way of drugs, I intend to take a phos phosphorus pill three times three times a day preferably after meals and a tonic composed of the tin tinctures tinctures of gan contain cinchora kali kalis Calisaya crap and cardamom compound into each tablespoon into each tablespoonful of this I shall mix tincture of Nux vomica beginning with one drop of increasing it a drop each day until the maximum dose and is reached. I shall drop this with a medicine dropper which can be produced at a trifling cost at any pharmacy good morning i took my head and walked out after i had closed the door i remembered something that i had forgotten to say i opened it again The doctor had not moved from where he had been sitting, but he gave a slightly nervous start when he saw me again. I forgot to mention, said I, that I shall also take absolute rest and exercise. After this consultation, I felt much better. The re-establishing in my mind of the fact that I was hopelessly ill gave me so much satisfaction that I almost became gloomy again. There is nothing more alarming to a neurosthenic, neurosthenic, neuros, neurosthenic than to feel himself going well and cheerful. John looked after me carefully. After I had evinced evinced so much interest in his white 
Oprington chicken, he tried his best to divert my mind, divert, and was particular to look, to lock his hen house of nights. Gradually, the tonic mountain air, the wholesome food, and the daily walks among the hills, so alleviated my mal malady, alleviated my malady, that I became utterly wretched and despondent. Utterly wretched and despondent. I heard of a country doctor who lived in the mountains nearby. I went to see him and told him the whole story. He was a gray bearded, bearded man with a clear blue wrinkled eyes in a homemade suit of gray jeans. In order to save time, I di diagnosed my case, touched my nose, nose with my right forefinger, struck myself below the, the knee to make my foot kick, sounded my chest, stuck my st stuck my out stuck out my tongue and asked him the price of cemetery lots in Pinewell. He lit his pipe and looked at me for about three minutes. Brother, he said after a while, you are in a mighty bad way. You are in a mighty bad way. There is a chance for you to pull though through, but but it's mighty slim one. It's a mighty slim one. What can it be? I asked eagerly. I have taken arsenic and gold, phosphorus, exercise, nax vomica. Hydro hydrotherapeutic buffs, rest, excitement, coating, and aromatic spirits of ammonia. It is is there anything left in the pharmacopoeia? Somewhere in these mountains, said the doctor, there is a plant growing. A flowering plant that will cure you and it's about it's about the only thing that will it's of a kind that's as old as the world but but of late it's powerful scarcity scarcity and hard to find you and I will have to hunt it up. I'm not engaged in active practice now. I'm getting alone in years, but I'll take you. I'll I'll take your case. You'll have to come every day in the afternoon and help me hunt for this plant till I find it. The city doctors may know a lot about new scientific things. But they don't know much about the curse that nature carries around in her saddle bags. All right, guys, we're gonna finish for today. We have the last part, and I'm gonna read it tomorrow. So, thank you for joining me today. See you tomorrow. Bye.